I'm going to share what the Lord has put in my spirit. I'm, I'm dropping my spirit on my heart. So, as you can see, my topic is bring it back before the Lord. Bring it back before the Lord. So, I just tell you, when God speaks to you, oftentimes he'll bring it like in threes, fours, and sometimes many, many more times when God speaks to you or God is doing a thing in your life or he's one of the people that God sent to many people or to a nation and so forth. So he doesn't do coincidence. So if you're seeing something in a dream or a vision or you're reading your Bible and this same thing keep coming up, this piece is getting on my nerves, y'all. Okay, this same thing keep coming up. God is trying to get your attention. So yesterday when we took our break for um, the conference, we were sitting down, we was talking to um, Lucinda Moore, gospel singer. Um, and then also she mentioned that she was singing that the song that we were hearing or some of the songs we've been hearing, she actually wrote years ago, you know, years ago. And then they re record them or they record them again. And, and they're saying, you know, it, it's a hit, you know. It's a hit. You done did this song 10 years ago. You done did this song five years ago. It's a hit, you know? So the other week when we did our pastor's anniversary, God told, told me to put our theme as he makes all things new. All right. So she shared that yesterday. And this morning, I kept hearing the song by Todd Delaney. It was you who pulled me through. It was you, Lord, it was you who pulled me through. So, of course, I go to my YouTube, pop it open, and I've done it before. And I notice, I'm noticing two years the songs were recorded, but the actual song was actually recorded like 11 years ago. 11 years ago. I'm getting somewhere here. <laughs> 11 years ago, y'all. But re-recorded it and brought it out, and then it became a hit. All right. So what am I saying? What is God saying? There are some old things that when you first, when God first dropped it in your spirit, you try to pursue it. You try to do it. You try to push it forth. It just wasn't a season. It wasn't the time. It doesn't mean that it wasn't from God. It just was not the season, nor was it the time. <laughs> but God wanted me to tell you to go back and bring it before the Lord. Go back and take it before the Lord. This season could just be that season for it. It doesn't matter if it was 10 years ago, 20 years ago. The thing of the matter is we think God is on our time and he's not on our time. If you look in the Bible and we read the Bible, we take that word. That word is there for encouragement. That word is there to, to, to boost our faith. That word is there so we can believe even the more in the things of God. But when you research it, I think somebody done caught where I'm going here. <laughs> When you research it, it didn't happen quickly. When David, hold on one second. Yeah. When David was anointed king, he went back to the field. Okay? He went back to the field. When Elisha and Elisha came on the scene, we don't know what their life was about before they came on the scene. It could have been in the wilderness. It could have been 20 years of them in the field. It could have been 20 years they were seeking God's face. But when they showed up on the scene, it looked like they just got on the scene. And they really didn't just get on the scene. God had already spoke that word to them. Let's look at the life of Jesus. You know how long they waited for the Messiah? And then one day this baby is born. This, this older lady, older elderly lady who was a prophet named Anna prophesied it for years. For years, y'all. Even in the Old Testament, Jesus was written in the Old Testament. He was prophesied in the Old Testament that he was coming. There come a savior. There's come a Messiah that will deliver men, that will deliver the life of men, Gentile, Jews, so forth. It even mentioned in the Old Testament. But this baby was born. He didn't come out the womb already being used to save the world. Jesus' ministry did not officially start until he was 30 years old. I'm trying to help somebody. Okay. 
Sometimes we get discouraged because we think, why is it not happening quickly? And we, we tuck that stuff away or we throw it away or we burn it or we get rid of it or we just tuck it away. Maybe it wasn't God, but it was God. There is a time and there's a season for everything. So don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. Don't you give up. Don't base the time off of someone else. You know, Facebook and Instagram and these different things out here appear one way it is not. Okay. So don't allow Facebook and people, family, people in, in the church to push you somewhere God is not taking you. Or it's not the season for it. Because I'm like Moses in Exodus 33. I'm not going, God, unless you go with me. <laughs> I'm not going unless you go with me. He even said at the beginning of that chapter, he said, I'm going to give you the land that, that I promised Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He said this to Moses. He said, I'll be with you. But Moses came behind him and said, is you going to be with me? <laughs> I ain't going to let you go with me. So Moses wanted God to know, I can't do this without you. So even though you may do that business, you may write that book, you may start that ministry, you may build that church, you may, whatever you decide, whatever God has placed before you years ago, you might have started doing it and it looked like it didn't succeed. First of all, you need to make sure God is with you. <laughs> you need to make sure he's with you because he's the one that gave it to you. He's the one that dropped that thing in your spirit. Come on. He's the one that gave you the idea. It was a God idea. Some of y'all got God ideas right now that you've been having for 10 years. God ideas you've been having for a year. God idea you've been having for six months. God idea you've been having for 30 years. It was a God idea to send his son to die for our sins. But it was God's idea for him not to fully be used until he was 30 years old, even though he's already existed. Come on. Even though the prophet is Anna say, OK, this is the son of God. But it was when he was 30 years old and then he spent three years with the disciples, three years on the earth. It wasn't even rushed, really, because he could have just got older. OK, now he's the Messiah. Die for our sins. No, he train the men and women of God and then he died for our sins so sometimes we look at that word and we look at it and say okay God did this for so and so and we should but there's some more research there there's some things they had to go through there were some things that kind of like got put on the shelf before they could do what God called them to do. It just wasn't the season and it wasn't the time. But take that thing that you got right now that you've been holding on to that seemed like it wasn't finna do anything. Take that before the Lord. He said, I make all things new. So the same way he did it for Lucinda Moore, the same way he did it for Ty Delane, the same way he did it for the men of old, the same way, come on, they had to bring it back before God they waited for their season and their time. I'm telling you the same thing today. He said, I make all things new. Yeah, I gave it to you 10 years ago, but in 2022 and 2023, it's going to be just like I just gave it to you fresh to other people, even though it has been in its infancy stage for 20 years, for 10 years. I'm not letting people rush me no more because I want God to be with me. You hear me say no more because sometimes people, they'll get hyped for you, but they'll push you further than where you're supposed to be. Faster than what you're supposed to go. You know, sometimes we're so worried about people holding us back. But what about the ones who push you faster than you're supposed to go? Listen to God. What is God saying? Is this something he's saying? OK, this is what I'm giving to you, but this is not the season. This is not the time because truth be told, some of us couldn't handle if God would have gave it to us 10 years ago, five years ago. Some of us couldn't handle it. We even went back in the world or we even undid something so crazy. We been done, you know, our gift is there, but our character can't keep us. You know what I'm saying? You could have a gift, but your character's not ready. The five-year-old, yeah, God could have used him. He's God, but God sins. I heard something over there. Y'all about to take off. You, you know, we don't, we hear a little bit of something. I about to go me and this phone about to run, but yeah, Jesus, what 